You know where you are. This is Nollywood Pictures TV. I don't understand why you are dressed up so fast as if you are living. Well, that's because what I came for was a quick one. You know, there's still people at my house. It's still my birthday. I know. <laughs> but you know, I cannot have enough of you. I know. Me too. <laughs> but not to worry. I'll be back. This was just, you know, a quickie. I'm already missing you, you know that. And I'm missing you too. You know what? Please, when you leave, Try to come back to me quite often because if you fail, you will see me in your place. Ah, please, do not come to my place. Allow me sneak in when I can, okay? <laughs> I don't want that. I'll see you later, my love. Beautiful Mrs. Mm. Mrs. Daskanga. <laughs> you know, God actually did a wonderful job. And I'm glad you appreciate it. Bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> this woman is so beautiful and so sweet. Ugo! Ugo, please come. For you to work for a man like Chief Ukondo, it means you can be trusted. Yeah, is that true? Very good. I do not want you to tell anyone that I visit this place often. And there's a huge reward if you can do that. No problem, man. Trust me. I will. That's good. Chief Ukondo calls for you. Okay. Never listen to all these pastors again. All of us are the same. Well, this, this man, Chief, is uh, he's a very, very good man. You know, th these are the kinds of people that we need to, to support the church. You know? I agree with you. I mean, look at the gifts that he gave to me. Look at the amount of money. I'm even so scared to spend it. It's a lot. It's a big gift, I agree. It's a very big gift. But go ahead and spend it how you, however you wish. It's, it's your gift still. Uh, it's your gift. It's a very good man. No. Honey? Hmm? Are you with me? I am here. Oh, I'm just thinking. Why God will bless us with such a benevolent man? That is because God is good. And he does all things in his own time. He is a good man. So all we need to do is to continue to pray for grace upon him. I agree with you. He deserves all the praise all the prayers we can make. Thank you so much for the drink. 
You're welcome. Mm. Girl, I honestly didn't realize the other side was this sweet. Mm. No wonder men cheat. Hmm, my love. Enjoy yourself to the fullest. Okay? This is just the beginning. You see, Chief? Chief will give you lots of luxuries that you have never imagined in your life. And if he starts misbehaving, you move to someone else. No strings attached. My darling, how you plan this thing still baffles me. Do you know that my husband believes that Chief Okundu is a philanthropist that came to help the ministry? Do you have to mention that pretender in this discussion? Is it my husband you're calling a pretender? You don't have to feel bad about him. For that is what he is. Listen, if I tell you what he does whenever he travels, <laughs> babes, you will poison him. Yes. So come down, enjoy yourself with Chief. I mean, Chief carry your matter for him mm. like gala. He does. In fact, the thing baffles me. Do you know the other day he came to the office while I was preaching to the women in church? Mm -hmm. I literally begged him to leave. Ha! Do you blame him? The man is in love. I mean, I don't know what you have done to Chief, but he keeps clamoring about you. Oh, Sandra, Sandra is my love. Sandra. What is it? Eh, what is it? What have you done to him? Nothing. Oh. <laughs> Just, you know, holy, holy love. <laughs> you are a bad girl. What can I say? So tell me, what do you guys actually do? Sure, this thing will not backfire like this. That's your phone? Yes. I've been calling you. Oh my goodness, seven missed calls. Yes. I got to the airport, I was calling, hoping you'd pick and come get me. I'm, I'm so sorry. I, I put my phone on silent when I was praying. I'm sorry. But well, is well, everything I'm, okay? Yes, everything is fine. Welcome home. I'm so sorry. How it's are fine. you? Well, I'm tired. Uh, um, let me take this in for you. I, I, I cooked. Crusade was something else. It was an outpouring of anointing and so many people, a lot of a lot of people were touched by the power of the Holy Spirit. Is anything the matter? Uh, honey, it's just that I'm tired. You know, these women and their marital problems, it's a lot. The ministry and the workload, it's a lot. But we cannot question God, for he has given us the grace uh, to carry on in this ministry. They need you. You know they need you. And this is why I always miss my husband. He always has the right words. Thank you. Go on, take a shower, and I'll fix you something to eat. You know, right? <laughs> Very hungry. I'm gonna join you before you know it. <laughs> <laughs> See you soon.
Father, Lord, please save me from this dent. And, and I promise I'll renew my zeal to serve you. What is it? Sir, a man is here to see you. And this man has no name? He said his name is Idigo. He said he came in connection with your technician. Connection with my technician? What does that mean? Okay, anyway, let him in. Thank you very much. I gathered you are here in connection with my technician. What does that mean? Yes, sir. Uh, the last time he called me was when he told me that he has work to do for you at your village house. Yeah. And that he will be traveling. That was about 10 days ago. Up to now, I cannot reach him and neither is any of his numbers going through. So I came to inquire from you if you have heard from him. Oh, yes, hold on, uh, Idigo. I don't understand this. Are you possibly saying that he may have gone missing or what? Not really, sir. It's just that it's unusual of him not to have reached out to me for a whole day. And it's 10 days now. He has not called. And he's nowhere to be found. You know, I, I have actually tried to reach out to him and his number did not connect. I actually thought uh, maybe network or something. I didn't give it any serious thought. Um, Chief, I feel something is wrong. Is there any way you can call someone in the village to confirm if he's working there? Of course, I will make that call. But in the meantime, based on what you just said and the way I feel now, I am thinking if you make a case with the police, uh, let us hear how it goes. But I am, I am surprised you didn't bring this to my attention before now. I'm sorry about that, Chief. I was thinking that he would call. Let it not be that something wrong has happened to this boy. Listen, Idigo, you will do exactly what I just said now. Okay? Um, yeah. Look, take this. That's my card. That's my number. You call me if there is anything urgent. Thank you very much. But do something immediately, please. I will do that, sir. Let it not be that something has happened to this young man, please. I don't want that to happen. I'll actually take my leave, sir. No problem. And thank you for coming. Thank you very much, sir. Okay, bye, Monka. Daddy. Where are my daughter? Yes, Daddy. Good afternoon. Yeah, my dear. You were saying something. I am ready to hear you now. So speak. Okay. Dad. Yes. I. I really don't know how you will react on what I want to discuss with you. But. I feel comfortable speaking to you than my mother. Okay. I'm listening. Okay, Father. Daddy, can we change our church? Why, why will you make such a request? Daddy, yes. you know that you're not always around. 
That's true. That's true. And I am the one participating virtually in all the departments in the church. Exactly. Yeah. Daddy. Yes. To be frank with you, this church is not the same church Pastor Daskanga founded. Honestly. You are making a weighty statement, and uh, I think I want to know more about this. Daddy, I don't know how to explain this, but I don't feel that spiritual refreshment I do feel in that church. I don't feel it anymore. Really? Yes, Daddy. So, which other fellowship do you want to be attending now? Daddy, I never wanted to make this a personal thing. I really want you to follow me to my newfound fellowship and convince mom to go with us. <laughs> hey, Clara, my daughter. Yes, daddy. You know, I trust you a whole lot. Thank you, dad. After all, it is one God and one covenant of salvation. Yes, daddy. If you have made up your mind to attend another fellowship, so be it, you have my consent. Daddy, that doesn't mean that you're not going with me and you're not convincing mom to go with us. Oh, this is heavenly race. It is a personal thing. Eh? Me, I am not going to any other church. In fact, for me, I have invested a lot in that power from my booth ministry. And I cannot possibly quit at this moment. It's not possible. Daddy. And my dear, like I said before, this is heavenly race. Oh, see, if you want to go, you go there. And who knows whether God will bring your man your way there. Daddy. The last I heard from him was when he called me that he is on his way to Chief Okundu's uh, village residence. That the man contacted him for technical work in the village uh, castle that he's putting up there. Now that you have not seen him, have you consulted the chief imposter? Yes, I'm just coming from his place. And he categorically told me that he has not heard from my friend. <sighs> uh, you will give me his number of the same chief. Okay. Then we will continue our investigation from there. Well, gentlemen, please, you may be seated. Thank you, Chief. Okay. Thank you, Chief. I am ready to hear you. Yes, sir. We are here in respect of uh, Mr. Vincent, who was declared missing. So, please, if we may ask, what was your last encounter with him? Well, Vincent is my boy. A very good boy. And he has been my boy since he left the technical college. He has been the one in charge of furnishings and everything technical in all my houses. He came here to take measurement of the wardrobe I have in my room upstairs because there is this mansion I am putting up in my village and I wanted him to replicate that same wardrobe in almost all the rooms in that house. So he came here to take measurement and uh, he left from here and then he sent me you know, a message demanding for deposit and I wired money into his account. I tried to call him and then his number didn't connect. I actually thought it may be network or something. I'm not a phone person. And I forgot about that. I have not uh, bothered to call again until his friend came here yesterday to say that uh, he has not called anyone. Have you called your workers in the village to confirm? If someone like that actually came? Yes, I did. And that was after his friend left here yesterday. I called them and they told me that uh, nobody came. So you mean he did not travel? That is what it means because uh, he didn't get to my village and I, I am still surprised. He left from here and he told me that he was going to my village. But my workers in the village confirmed to me yesterday when I called that he didn't come there. 
So, sir, please, do you have any idea where he might be? I don't. In all honesty, I don't, and I, I am, I, I, I don't understand. I, if not that his friend came here yesterday, I actually thought that uh, the job I sent him to do in my village is going on. I was the one that asked the friend to get the police involved because uh, the whole thing is just very confusing to me. It's all right, Chief. Uh, thank you for your cooperation. We shall get back to you for further questioning if the need arises. Thank you very much, uh, Detective Johnson, for actually getting involved. I am impressed and I'm happy. If there is any other way you need me to assist in this process of finding Vincent, just let me know. It's all right, Chief. Uh, we do hope you have a nice day. Thank you. Thank you for coming, gentlemen. Thank you, sir. I appreciate this meeting. Have a nice day, sir. Okay, then. Officer, who could have done this to my friend? We still don't have the answers yet. But his remains was found by the highway patrol. There is a deep cut on his head and a stab on his stomach. His identity card made the officers to recognize is the one we are looking for. We have deposited his corpse at the Motuan. My friend was a peaceful man. He hardly had issues with anyone. Who could have murdered him? Or was he attacked by armed robbers? We are still investigating, but I believe the answers will be found soon. A cut on his head and a stab on his stomach could only prove one thing, that he was murdered. That is what the investigation will reveal. Be assured that no stone will be left unturned. Please, sir. Do everything that you can. Do not worry. Be rest assured that the killer will be brought to book. Accept my heartfelt condolence. You still look awful. Is it because of the announcement of uh, Vincent's death? Yeah. It is devastating. Yes. Very devastating. It is. Now I remember he called me to say that he was traveling. I said a word of prayer with him. Same here. It's really sad that a dedicated church worker would die like this. Mm. He doesn't deserve this. We can't question God now, can we? <clears throat> we can't. We can't. We would have to pay his mother a condolence visit this evening. Please. I'm not available today. Why? I have that program with the widows tomorrow, so I, I need to prepare today and uh, meet with uh, some people. But I will make time. I'll make, I'll make time to go on my own. That's fine. It's okay. Hi, hello, how are you? I'm okay. Um, I'll be at my office in 30, 40 minutes, barring traffic. I'd like you to please accompany me to a condolence visit today. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. Oh yes, see you soon at the office. So hot. Yes. Have a good day.
Kamil. Gut, was? Ah. Bless God. I understand. I know that you are broken. My heartfelt condolences on the loss of your friend. I want you to, to take heart. Thank you, Pastor. I still can't believe the fact that Vincent is gone and would not come back to life. The mystery of life. It evaporates without notice. That's true, Pastor. But life did not just evaporate from Vincent. According to the DPO, he was caught in the head and stabbed in the stomach. It simply means that he was murdered. I'm trying to understand why anyone would kill an innocent man like Vincent. Confusing. Very, very confusing. The condolence visit you mentioned over the phone, is it to Vincent? Oh yes. You know, you came to mind the moment I thought about it. Even though you no longer come to church, but I remember clearly that both of you were very, very close. Well, actually, Pastor, I still have my reservations with what the Pentecostal movement has become. But this is not the right place for us to discuss that. When are we going? Oh, today, if you will, I just um, need someone who knows the family to be with me. We can. I believe his family will be pleased to have a man like you in the house. Thank you very much. For agreeing to come. And you just give me a few minutes, let me tidy a few things up, and then we shall be on our way. Tina. Tina. Yes? So, um, who are the girls? Uh, powerful and reliable girls that can help us handle it. Reliable, how reliable? Reliable enough to know what they can say and what they must go to their graves with. I would say you should forget about it. They can handle it. Who am I to doubt you? You are the master of everything. And you must be the one to be protected at all cost. So what's up, what's the news? Well, my husband has gone to the, um, to the house to pay them a condolence visit. Mm. But I told him I have an urgent event with the widows. That is very good. Let me get us something to drink. I'll be right back. Okay? Okay. Pastor, he called to inform me that he had bought a car and even indicated readiness to get married. All those did not happen. There lies my son. That's his Madam, I understand how you feel. And I want you to know that I'm in this pain with you. Vincent, your son, was one of the most dedicated workers of the church. Please. My prayer is that the Lord would give you the peace that you need at a time like this. I've also come here, madam, to assure you that our God is ever so faithful with his promises. Please have faith. For he will never abandon you. Pastor, I feel abandoned. Somebody killed my son, and up till now, the killer has not been found. <laughs> Mama. Mama, please take it easy. Mama, 
we are on it. And the police have assured us that no matter where the killers are hiding, they will surely be fished out. Mama, please take it easy. Please. Ewa. Ewa. Please stop crying. Madam, I want you to know that as we speak, that has also become a prayer point in church. Mm. And I'm confident that God will answer. He may delay, but he will eventually answer. For all those who rise up against the children of God will never know peace. Stop crying. She's evil. She's just my friend. You make bold to call a character like that your friend. I mean, she's my friend, but you sound like she's evil and she's ready to kill. She is an unbeliever. I have told you so many times that you cannot mingle with someone like that. She has sold her soul to the devil. You cannot be yoked with someone like that. And we cannot desert her because she doesn't attend our fellowship. Uh, 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 uh. This is not about fellowship. This is not about her not attending my fellowship, for she doesn't attend any fellowship at all. Yet yeah, she calls herself a Christian. A few times that I've had a chance to speak with her, 